What is going on guys? I have a, another update on the channel. Ah, my leg. So basically what's going on right now is we just got, I just got done uh, last Saturday doing the zombie event out at Balahack Airsoft. It was a blast. I always love doing those events. They're really fun. So this time I actually have footage to uh, show. I'm just working on getting it all together and editing it. It's probably going to come out in parts because it's about, give or take an hour, hour and a half worth of footage. So it's going to come out in parts. So be on the lookout for that. Um, today's video is something that I have been trying to find for so long. Um, been trying to find a set of DOT and SAE approved fog lights that are aftermarket and obviously can be mounted to the truck because the aux beam ones that I have here are not DOT approved. They're just considered off-road lights only. So obviously here in the state of Virginia, um, anything without a DOT and SAE numbers uh, are not allowed to be on the road. They're only, uh, they're only allowed to be used during off-road situations. So it was always a bummer when I had to go in for state inspections. I either had to take them off or take them off because I didn't have covers for them. But I finally found a set of DOT and SAE fog lights. And they were around 100 and I think they're about 120 bucks. Um, and these are what they are. They're kind of like a fish eye almost. So obviously, like I said, there's they have the little SAE numbers on them, and it's from NAVA Auto. It's a pretty sturdy, nice quality built design. Uh, comes with a single mounting bracket, or each mounting bracket for the lights. And instead of it being a spot beam and flood beam, it's you kind of got a two in one. So it will, you know project the light out so it's kind of like a projector lens the way the the curve of the lens and then the lens inside pushes the light out um so it will project really far and then it will have a nice nice sharp cutoff line so that it doesn't obviously blind drivers like these do because these are just a 60 degree angle i believe for every single one of these lights is a 60 degree angle flood beam design and they they def they'll just they'll blind somebody. So you always have to watch when you're driving at night um, when you got oncoming traffic. Plus two, um, it was I've had these on the truck for about I think two and a half two and a half years, almost three years, give or take. And um, definitely going to have to start switching out some of the screws and everything because they start they started to rust. Um, but overall. The lights, I'm going to figure out another place to put the lights, but the lights that are on the truck, um, definitely have to say they're nice, um, high quality. They come in this nice um, uh, braided nylon, I believe, some type of braided uh, cable sleeve. So obviously everything is nice and covered, so there's no chafing or anything can uh, split and ground itself you know everything is protected on the wiring and the wiring is pretty simple unlike the aux beam ones where you had the lights that connected to the to the fog lights then you had to put a grounding wire to the vehicle for the fuse relay then you had both battery terminals then you had another grounding wire for the actual switch itself um so you had to find all these screws everywhere for grounds and try to feed everything whereas this it was just one grounding wire for the fuse relay then it was just the negative and positive side on the battery and then obviously um, this same connector I have here inside the truck so I'm not going to use this switch just yet because it's just a, a simple flip switch that would need to be somehow mounted to the dash um but this is the switch that it came with but lucky enough i had another the other switch from the aux beam lights 
use this one so I didn't have to drill a hole in my dash yet. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put a set of aux beam lights. And right now, um, I'm thinking about putting them up on the roof rack on the back so that at night, um, when I'm backing up somewhere, I can turn on the, uh, the floodlights and have plenty of light in the back to see where I'm backing up um, and whatnot. And then just to, this is a side note, and then also, it's not sponsored, I bought it with my own money, but I bought a new bug guard here from WeatherTech. Um, very nice, because obviously this is the one I'm coming from, and it's just a plain Jane, just kind of generic bug guard that obviously needed to be mounted to the truck. Um, what I like about the WeatherTech is a little more low profile, and you, it actually is molded to the curves of the hood, so it has the little raised sections in it obviously for the the bump in the hood as you see there the the nice crease line that goes around the hood so it has that raised lip section so it flows with the hood a little bit better and then also it used the same hole or it used factory holes in the hood instead of uh, like the generic one where we had to drill them so that was that was a plus that it's just you can either 3m mount it or I did is the little push screws that when you push it through the hole then screw it in the the punch hole whatever it's called uh, expands a bit and then it, it holds it in the hood but other than that I know this video is gonna be really short because there's really no other updates right now going on um, like I said I'm a Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn on so you can, guys can see how the lights look. So obviously, like I said, I used the same dash switch um, that I previously had. So it's, it's just an on-off button that poked through the firewall. But then here is the light. So like I said, it's a, a fisheye type design. And it's a very sharp... So obviously when you look at it, so when you look at my hand, you see... You know that the line has got a nice cutoff point so that it's down low and when I was driving to the zombie event obviously I had to leave really early in the morning and I drove with these and it was it was amazing how far the light projects out I think it went almost about a hundred feet 100 100 plus feet on those on these new fog lights that they that they pushed out the light um, so if anybody's looking for a set of these i'll put a link down to where i got them on amazon or i'll just put the name of it um and then you guys can look to see if it's something that you guys want uh beware there is a lot of extra wiring that comes with it i wasn't expecting it to have that much um so obviously i just have it tucked into the uh, fender area next to the battery and all zip tied up but other than that there's nothing really else going on besides I'm getting the zombie pictures or zombie video edited up and ready to go. Um, I may or may not record. There's a new uh, chemical guy that's just finally opening a place that they sell their stuff is what I use to wash my vehicle with. But I don't know if I'm going to record that or not. So I'm going to end it here, and I will catch you all next time.